and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a quick little monthly plan for August in my digital planner. Right now, I'm still using the basics portrait planner from my shop. I'll have it linked in the description if you wanna follow along. But I'll also be trying out some of the iPad OS 16 features that I've been most excited to play with while digital planning or note taking. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Since this is an undated planner, the first thing I'm gonna do is date my month. I honestly just like to handwrite the dates in. To me, this is faster than using the text tool. And I like to use the zoom window tool to zoom in on my writing while I'm still able to see the entire page. I don't use this feature as much as I used to, but I really like it for writing in dates so I can make sure all of my dates are written in a similar size. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put down important dates. I'm gonna zoom through this. Of course, everyone's planners are going to look different. I personally like to handwrite in my tasks and then I use highlighters to loosely color code the things in my planner. This helps me prioritize things at a glance while I'm planning each week. I'm just going to fill in my lower section here. This is super helpful for me and I can write down what's going on for the month and what my goals are. Now for the fun bit, I'm switching over to my iPad Air where I installed the new beta version of iPad OS 16 so I could try out a couple of those new features I was talking about. The first thing I'm gonna do is try out Stage Manager to drag and drop my pictures from Pinterest into my planner. This is iPad's new multitasking option. You can still do your split screen, but this is a cool way to add additional windows into your workspace that you can use together. I also think it's kind of a cool view since you can resize your windows to your preferences. When I'm multitasking like this, I'm usually prioritizing one screen, so it's nice to have it visually be so much larger than the supporting apps I'm using with it.
next thing might seem like a small thing, but it's probably what I'm most excited about. And it's the copy subject feature. Now you can copy just the subject from a photo without the background. And when I heard about this, the first thing I thought about was these little inspo collages that I make for myself. And I usually spend a lot of time cropping around images to give it that scrapbook effect I'm going for. And this makes it so much easier. Definitely a feature I'm going to be using all of the time. And that's the plan for August. I hope you have a great rest of your summer. If you like these kinds of videos, please like and subscribe. It helps out the small business and channel more than you know. If you're interested in the planner that I'm using here, I have a whole video tour of it and I'll link the planner in my description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.